beautiful big male lion it is, although I think he is <laughs> wanting to go up the tree and perhaps it's not going to be that ideal because the tree is very wet and he, he might slip. So I think that's the only reason why he hasn't tried to go all the way up. Now in terms of male lions, I would assume that this one is a Fumo from the Birmingham Coalition. I could be wrong, but if you guys think that this is a different one, please let me know using the hashtag Safari Live. Are you going to start calling again? You see the kill is just above on the tree and we can now definitely confirm and this might be a bit of a gruesome view for some so please look away now if you don't want to see something very raw but it is an impala a female impala that tingana was feeding upon so now absolute confirmation as we can see the head of the of the impala and you see that she he managed to at least eat i would say half of it which is very good because now he's going to have a little bit more food and probably fare a little bit better and just when we saw him the other day he was looking very skinny but i think the fact that now the um, conditions for the climate and the weather have also played in his favor he's managed to bring something bigger down which is great because we we would like because we want the impalas to die but because Tingana was in desperate need of something to eat. Now, he's still up on the tree, um, on the other tree Tingana but he's still facing in this direction. So I think his plan is just to or maybe he's just hoping for he's just hoping for the lion to actually get bored and leave and go somewhere else perhaps or we'll give him enough of a gap so that he can go all the way up there. Now he was scratching his his claws and by no means um, he's, he's not aware of the fact that the impala kill is up there on the tree but I think he also realized that it's not going to be the easiest thing for him to go up and he might slip so I think he's waiting. Not too sure if he's going to wait for the kill to fall off the tree or if he's actually just being clever enough to wait for the tree to dry a little bit and then he might just try. Because when we saw him scratching the tree earlier perhaps well certainly marking it for territorial purposes and I'm sure that was a very clear sign towards Tingana but I think he could have also been trying to see if he had any gription. Michael you say this is in Suku and not in Fumo. That would make more sense because Fumo hasn't been seen and I think he's all the way on Malamala. But now okay maybe I should just just remember the scar. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Gone down. Now, I wonder why you ended up here and the rest of your pride not. It's interesting with the Birminghams. They seem to split up just as much, or probably more than what they're actually spent with any of the prides. So there'll be one of them and then one of them and the other one comes. But in Suku, in the last few days, and it would make sense then that if this is him, has been the one that hasn't been with the Nkuhuma pride. So it could be that he's just been hanging around this area in general, or he's just been going in between prides. Perhaps he's visited the Styx pride in the last little while. But I think pretty much given up. I don't think he's going to try and get up onto the kill at any time soon, unless Tingana manages to come down from the tree, in which, head, in which case I'm pretty sure he would pull up his head and at least gaze in that direction. But I think Tingana also got a very proper fright, so he's just up there and enjoying the morning. Well, I don't know if enjoying would be a good word for Tingana, but he's definitely braving it on top of the of the tree that he's in. Now, it seems like Byron is having a wonderful morning drinking coffee, so let's head on to him and see what he thinks of all this ordeal.